Okay, hi everybody. Um, I just got an interpretation from God, the Father, the Spirit, and um, from of the wedding dream I had, uh, where the bride was dressed as in man's clothing. Father Yah had me rewatch that video, and then he spoke to me about it. And as I was watching it, he gave me the interpretation. And the interpretation is extremely important for the Bride of Christ to get ready. Uh, the, the interpretation is this. The Bride is trying to behave like a groom. The Bride is not depending on the groom to do the works, to prepare, to be the groom and the leader, or the head of the house. Um, the bride is trying to be in the place of the groom. Although we're, we're, we're yoked with him and we move with him, we need to let him lead us because his yoke is easy. Remember, ours is pretty heavy burdens because we live in the flesh and we're fighting the good fight. But it's extremely important. And I just feel that in the presence of the Father pressing me in to give this message to the bride of Christ that you are not the groom you are the bride, which means you allow your groom to lead you. You dress in white that is feeding and clothing um, the, the poor and the homeless. And we're to do the righteous acts that Jesus did, healing, laying hands on the sick, proclaiming the year of the Lord, doing all the things that he told us to do, repenting. And that's how we're going to get our white clothes back on, our white dress back on. Otherwise, we're going to be wearing a suit. And you can't get married in a suit next to a groom. It's not going to work. It's the bride, not the groom. <laughs> so the the um, the message that he's giving me, also with the 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 part of the dream that I had, which was the bride was asking for a mirror with wood on it, and God just gave me the interpretation of that. And this is all scriptural, guys. It all is in the Bible, um, because. The, the bride has gotten haughty and proud and righteous, thinking themselves righteous that they've done the works and there's no way we can do anything apart from God and um, in Jesus Christ um, dying to our flesh. But the flesh is giving um, the, the bride a little pride and ego thinking that they're doing it themselves and Jesus did it all on the cross. He had victory. He says it is finished when he was on the cross. The cross. He had won reconciliation back to the Father, and it's just the people's, uh, the people need to receive it, receive the free gift. And then we walk in faith, not by sight, and we depend on the Holy Spirit to move us to be holy, for He is holy, and we renew our minds in Christ. And um, all of this is Him doing the works. He's the one that will, will finish our um finish the work that he started so when we look in the mirror we're looking at our when we're desiring the mirror we're desiring our own works our own stuff and we're saying we look at look what we built look what we did that is an abomination to God it's when we turn and we look at the groom and we say this is the gift I want you have to watch the video to understand that the bride was asking for, the father was giving gifts and the bride wanted the mirror when he, she had the groom standing right next to her. And that's what we need to do. We need to look at the groom and say, I want him.